Welcome to this yin yoga class for runners. We will stretch the quads, hamstring and your hips. Please come into a tabletop pose on hands and knees. You might want your blocks close by here on either side of your mat, coming into baby dragon. Your right foot steps forward to the top of the mat, aligning the right knee directly over the right ankle. You can let your hands come to the floor, but I personally find this pose easier to hold by bringing my hands on some blocks. Let your hips press forward and down. Soften the shoulders, the neck and your jaw. Maybe allow the eyes to close as you settle into this pose. And if you have sensitive knees and this hurts because it's too hard, the ground, pat your knees with a blanket by folding it once or twice or as much as you need to really. That makes it much more easier to hold this pose. Notice if you're holding any tension in your arms and shoulders. Let that go and only focus on deep breathing. In and out through the nose. Press into your right foot a bit more to come out of this pose really slow. We've been here a while. Back to all fours. Maybe stretch that leg out that wasn't front before. Get the blood flowing again. And then your left foot steps forward in between your hands. Again, choose if you want to place your hands on some blocks or directly on the ground. And always keep in mind that it's normal to have one side that feels a bit more open than the other. So just adjust however you need to, 
even if that means that you don't go as far on one side. Try to draw back your shoulders gently so that you don't overly round in the upper back. And just let the hips sink down. Gravity does the work here. This being one of the most intense poses in yin yoga, be open to notice any internal dialogue or reaction that happens. Maybe you get frustrated or impatient or angry. This is your opportunity to become aware of those patterns that no longer serve you. Start to press into your left foot to shift the hips back and come back out of this pose. Remove the blocks if you had them, put them off to the side and then stretch your left leg out behind you to get the blood flowing again. Or just do any movement that feels good. Remove the blanket if you had it as padding for the knees and then stretch your legs out in front of you. We are coming into half shoelace pose keeping your right leg straight and you're going to bend the left knee and then cross your left foot over the right thigh to stack your left knee directly on top of the right knee. If your knee stays more uplifted, that's fine. You can always use a blanket or a block to fill any gaps and make it more comfortable and adjust it to your body. Now gently fold forward and you may find that it won't take much to feel it in your hamstrings here. I always like to prop up my head with a block to support my upper body. Take your time to find your edge and then get still.
Notice if your mind starts wandering. Bring your attention back to your breath or to any sensation that you're feeling. Turn the palms face down, use your arms to press yourself back up. Stay in this pose with your legs, we're going to come into full shoelace pose. If it's possible for you, just bend the right leg as well, so that the right foot comes into the left hip, both heels pretty close to your hips. If this is not possible for you, you can take full shoelace on your back. Knees stacked on top, holding on to the outsides of your feet, like this. Otherwise, full shoelace, seated, stacking both knees. To make this a little bit easier, you can always place a blanket or a block between both knees or sit up on something. If this is enough to stay here, stay upright, otherwise walk your hands forward to fold. And you can use a block as support for the head. Maybe making a little block tower. I always like to do that.
Slowly come out of this pose, very mindfully, blocks to the side, unwrap the knees, and then do some windshield wiper motions, knees falling from side to side to unwind. This time your left leg goes out straight, bending your right leg to cross it over the left thigh, aligning the knees on top of each other, or at least as close as possible for you, without feeling pain or too strong of a sensation. Remember to not go past your edge, we always want to stay at about a 5 on a scale from 1 to 10 in intensity. Fold down and maybe place the forehead on a block so that you can relax and let go even more. Press your upper body back up, legs stay in this position, coming into full shoelace on the second side. Right knee stays as it is, this time bending your left knee, aligning both knees on top of each other. And if there is a bit of a gap between the knees, that's fine. Just stay upright with your upper body. And if you want to, you can walk your hands forward to fold. Maybe using two blocks or one block to prop your head up and make it a bit more comfortable and easy to hold. Easier to hold.
lift back up. Be very mindful here of your lower back and your spine. Re remove the blocks if you had them. And then unwrap the legs and let the knees fall from side to side again in a windshield wiper motion. To get any kinks out of the low back. To close this practice we will meet in a comfortable seating position, either cross-legged or kneeling. Keep your eyes closed and attention inward. Thank yourself for making it to your mat and making this time for your practice today. Take a moment to thank yourself now and maybe take a mental note if you feel any different now from when you first started this practice. Palms come together in front of the heart. Maybe dip your chin slightly. And may you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it with a friend. And maybe share your experience with me in the comments down below. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.